<clears throat> All right, so here's the guy. Got a screw in the tire. And uh, so I was gonna take the the car to get the tire fixed at, at a shop or something, but I can't find the lock, the key for the wheel lock. And uh, so I guess that's a temporary fix. I'm just gonna try to plug this. Uh, I've never done this before, but, but one of these kids that are, um, what's it called? This, um, this, the brand is Slime, I guess. And uh, this is it right here. Uh, it's a Slime Deluxe tire plug kit. Um, yeah, so let's see how it works. Let's see how I can get this done. Let me not destroy the instructions because I'm not quite sure of how to do this, but. <clears throat> I guess obviously after you remove the screw, you gotta take this tool and uh, just ram this up and down in the hole and uh, i guess these right here make the it just kind of cleans the hole uh so that whenever you put one of these plugs in there it uh it um it's like you know, just clear of debris and dirt and whatever so but first step would be removing the screw so let's get to that I'm guessing a bunch of tires are gonna come out. I'm, I mean, a bunch of air is gonna come out. So. Oh wow, that's a big screw. I guess now I'm supposed to take this and just ram it in there. In and out a few times. I'll leave that in there. So it stops the air from coming out. That way I don't have to put as much air later on. I have one of those um, portable uh, pumps, I guess. So, first impression on this, these are apparently very sticky, like super sticky, actually. I don't even know how am I gonna get this out of here. do come out but they're like super super sticky try not to touch it that much with my hands that way they don't lose their stickiness I guess here's one and uh, so I guess you're supposed to put it through here and uh, let me go ahead and ram it through here which is probably gonna suck because it's super sticky all right so here it is i guess the there's some um uh, rubber cement that uh you put on top of this just to add extra I guess a, a adhesiveness you'd say so let's go ahead and do that snap Got snap Let 
I'm just gonna go ahead and like coat it. Just rub it on there. Maybe this would even help it go in because it's gonna just make it a little wet, I guess. Once it's in there, I guess you're supposed to just yank on this really fast that way. Because at the end, it has like a split, so it lets it come out. So we'll try that. There it is. I don't hear any air coming out. Um, so you're going to have these sticking out, I guess. And uh, so they say uh that you don't i guess you don't have to cut them out you can but you don't have to so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna trim them at least have them be a little shorter than that that way it's not making weird noises and flopping around and shit. so uh i'm gonna go ahead and do that <clears throat> <coughs> cut this and I'd say about there and it is super sticky so this was the guy right here this is the one that did it which uh, another thing I was gonna tell you guys is that because of where it is in the position in the tire it's more towards the outer side of the tire uh a shop will not uh fix it uh this is just me being kind of like well temporary fix uh if this happens to you i recommend you getting a new tire uh you know it sucks because this tire is uh i don't know i would give it a seven out of ten as far as uh wear goes so and and you know obviously they're not cheap um but if it's just a temporary fix i guess you should be fine uh, i mean i drove with the screw in it for freaking like three days it was just like deflating slowly <clears throat> so now i'm just gonna put some air in it and then be done with it <laughs> 